everybody, it's Dana. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to make a card that has been requested. I made this card for the soon to be released Sugar Pea Designs Funky Wreath Spring Edition. And I got a lot of questions on how I did this background. I saw um, Jennifer McGuire do a similar technique. I fell in love and I want to try it myself. So I'm going to show you how I did it. So we're going to use a couple pretty colors of ink. And these are all from Simon Says Stamp. So we're going to use the Hollyhock, the Sunshine, the Jelly Bean, and the Audrey Blue. Now you can do this in any colors you like. These are just the colors that spoke to me. All right, so let's get started. I'm going to grab a white piece of cardstock and my stamp set. So all I'm gonna do is randomly stamp out some of these gorgeous flowers and a few of the green sprigs to make my card. Now this is a layering stamp set where you have inserts that go into the flowers as these little pieces here do, but we're not gonna use those today. We're gonna keep it just with the solid background. Alrighty, so I'm gonna start off with my first pink flower. I'm gonna move these out of the way. And I'm just gonna randomly stamp them down. No rhyme or reason, just kind of get them where I want them. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this over and grab my other one. So this way I don't have to really change blocks. And I'll go in with my blue flowers. I am gonna leave a little bit of room so I can put my sprigs in there. And I'll put one, let's say, over here. All right, I'm gonna grab my next block and we'll get busy putting in some of this happy yellow color. Put one there, one over there. As you can see, I really love going in threes. It just to me makes the cards look better. Okay, and lastly, I'll come back in with my greenery. And I'll kind of fill in the spaces where I don't have any flowers with my greenery. So it's super easy to do to create such a beautiful card. I'm gonna turn this around, go in that way. Again, I'm just filling in some of the areas that don't have a flower. And we need one up here. Just a little bit. Oops. Let me go back over that one one more time. All right. So you can see all I did is randomly stamped on my images. Now, I'm going to clean my stamps because I need to put on some embossing powder. Now, you're going to need clear embossing powder for this in order to cover up that pretty ink that you don't want to be um, black. So all I'm gonna do is go back in with some of my Versamark, let me slide those out of the way, and I'm gonna do the same exact thing. I'm gonna go back in right over that gorgeous color. I'm gonna take this one off because I really need to see through at this point. And I'm gonna line everything back up again. So I just wanna line this up and stamp right over it. So right now I'm just putting down a clear color or a clear coat, I should say, of the Versamark. Now you don't have to be perfect on this, just kind of eyeball it and it's really just to keep some of the white out. But again, you do not have to be perfect on this. Don't have like a stroke if you don't have it lined up perfectly, it's okay. And again, I'm just stamping right over, let me center this because that's bugging me, right over what I already stamped. And this is just going to protect that color that I'll always have that color regardless of what I put on the top of this paper now, whatever color I put on the top. So you can use blue, you can use black, you can use purple. It's totally up to you. 
I chose to do the black because it reminds me of chalkboard. All right, now I need to just grab some clear embossing powder. And I'm just going to run my card through it. It's the easiest way to do it. And then I'm just going to knock off any excess that we might have on there. All right, that looks fantastic. So can you see that? Now you can see, I, I don't know if you can see that, but you can see a little bit of a shadow that I didn't get it perfectly on there, but we're fine with that. Do not freak out. So I'm gonna heat up my heat gun. And I'm trying to do this live where I don't have to edit this because I really want to show you guys how I got it done. I got a lot of questions on it. All right, so now I'm just gonna bring it to the paper. And it's just going to melt that embossing powder where I had it laid over my flour. Okay, I'm starting to realize that I did not um, stamp very well over my paint. So I'm going to go right back over and stamp that again. As you can tell, my gun was really, really hot. So can you see that brown in there? But you don't have to worry about that because that's gonna be covered up. I'm gonna go one more time over my pink. Make sure I get a good impression this time. And one more over this one. I think that one's done pretty good, but I'm gonna do it just in case. So we keep set that again, perfect. Alrighty, so now you can kind of see, can you see that there? You can kind of now see a bit of um, shininess. All right, and this, here comes the magic. Just gonna clean off my mat, and I'm going to bring in my black soot. This is what helps me to get that black background. Just cover up my work area, and I want to have a wet wipe already because I don't want to have this color sit on here for too long. So all I'm going to do is take my ink pad. I'm going to brush off anything that might be left on there first. Just make sure I have a clean palette here. And now I'm just going to take my ink pad and run it over the flowers. Now I'm going to immediately go in and wipe up some of that area that has my flowers, because I don't want those to stay black. I'm gonna go ahead and swipe my pad down again. And this really gives it that chalkboard look. Just gonna make sure I get most of my color on the bottom, get a good coverage there, and then I'll bring it this way and start swiping over my flowers. So once I swipe and I get good coverage, Again, I wanna go back in and I wanna take that color away from my stamped image. And it starts to reveal that pretty flower. I'm gonna take a paper towel and just help move that along. Okay, I'm gonna go down one more time. Now you'll see where I wipe, some of the areas are gonna get lighter. And that's what I love because it gives me that real, like somebody ran some chalk over it. I'm gonna go back in just to some of the spots. One more time, going in and wiping what's on my flowers. And then I'll take that paper towel and clean it off. So you see how easy that is to do? It's super, super easy to do. All right, so let me clean up my mess. All right, so to get that angle on the front of my card, I grab my machine here, and I'm going to put it down this way. So whatever is gonna be on this side of the plate is gonna get cut. What's on this side is not gonna get cut. So I'm gonna put that in, and I'm gonna hang off the amount that I don't want cut. I hope that's making sense. Again, I saw Jennifer McGuire do this and I was just like wowed. 
so many great ways to use our dies. I just wanna put my top plate on. I'm gonna hold that in place. And I'm gonna stop about there. And that's gonna give me a nice, oops, let me slide this down just a tad bit. That's gonna give me a really nice curve to the top. Now, everything that's on this side is gonna get cut. Everything that's on this side will not get cut. So I'm gonna make sure my plates are even. I think that looks good. I'm gonna hold it down and I'm gonna run it through my mixture. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and stamp my greeting on. I'm going to grab the Hello Friend and I made sure I dried this first so I don't get any of the um, wet parts with embossing powder that won't come off. So I'm gonna, I am gonna put down a little bit of my EK Success powder tool just to ensure that that does not happen. I'm gonna grab my acrylic block and my Versamark. And I'm gonna go ahead and add this right to the front of my card. Press down good. And I'm going to use the Wow, I, this is my favorite, favorite, favorite embossing, white embossing powder. It's super, super bright white. Okay, I'm gonna put some of that right on over that sentiment. Tap off my extra, and then I can go ahead and heat this. So you see how pretty that looks? Now on my other card, I went ahead and I added a little birdie. And that is so easy to do. Now you have sugar cuts that go along with this stamp set. So no more fussy cutting, you guys. You guys just pick up the sugar cuts. It's so much easier. All right, I'm just gonna grab a scrap piece of paper that I have. I'm just gonna grab that one. I'm going to bring back in that gorgeous sunshine and we'll go ahead and stamp out our little birdie. Oop, I think he has something on there. Get that off. And then I'll bring him over to my die cut machine. Alrighty, so how sweet is he? We're going to get some foam and we're just going to pop him up on our card. And now our panel is ready. I'm going to flip this over, add some adhesive on the back, and I'm going to use a good amount because this paper has warped just a tad bit from the water because this is not watercolor paper. This is just regular cardstock. So I'm going to make sure that I get a good amount of adhesive on the back of this. It's going to line everything up. Let me do that again. Alrighty, and last but least, I took a white gel pen and I just made some dashes. Just to bring a pop of white and a little bit of stitching to my card. And I'm just gonna go up just the sides. I'm not gonna go all the way around. Oops, and some stitching across the bottom. And our card is done. So there you have it. That is how you make the chalkboard background. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I will see you guys in another video soon. Take care.